Hello Insomnia, my old friend. Let's make some music. Middle of the night, Insomnia vibes, driven to create 134 beats per minute A minor. Generate four new packs. Let's go. Now let's take a moment of zen while we do. Ah, we have some packs. Let's listen to some samples. Pack one demo. Except you can't hear that, so let's... maybe you can. Um, I forgot about audio. I guess you can hear that. Cool. Uh, let me try to play this again. Interesting. I think there could be some goofy things in there. Let's try number two. That's the one right there. Download. Assembling sample pack. Rendering sample pack. Finalize example pack. Okay, now it says, and now it gives me the option to save. Let's do that. I'll open the file that I downloaded. You can't see this, but I have my downloads window and a zip archive to open. I'll copy that into my Google Drive area, Ableton files, my folders, cold project. Let's do a new folder called samples. Samples is already taken. My samples. Paste a copy of this and let's go over to Ableton. making the window the same size and shape. It's the last one that I'm, sh that's what I'm currently sharing with you. So this will work out all nice. New live set. Yeah, we can save the one I was doing before. Maybe I'll show that to you later. Now, I think the way this, well, wait, let me switch up my thing that I'm sharing with you. How do I do that in Ecamm Live? Let's pause. There we go. Here's live. I'm going to drop my sample pack into here. And let's audition some of these samples, shall we? Deep bass, I sounded that already. Wait a second, you don't even hear anything right now, that's annoying. Let's fix that. Hey. 
Ableton Live, Options, Don't Mute While Capturing, Do Capture, Don't Mute This, Give You Some More Volume. Now can you hear, now will you be able to hear anything? Yes, now you will be able to hear some things. I'm sorry you couldn't hear things for a while. Um, we maybe edit out some bits. By now I may have edited out some bits because I didn't have audio flowing through to the recording. Now you should be able to hear what I'm doing in Ableton. Here's what I have so far. find a good drum machine loop in here. But I've already got the drum loop though. Maybe a pulsing synth is going to find the rhythmic element I need. here <laughs> I think I want it in that way oops I think I want it in that way there we go let's hear that intro let's hear this part of the intro Track stems. That's for this. That's for the like put together demo sample. Okay, I don't need to worry about that. Wow, that's super sub. Um, let me listen to this section. I got two samples so far. I want to add a hi-hat pulse. There's, I can just drop in an 808 hi-hat. Oops. Uh, Command Shift T. I've already got a MIDI track. What am I doing? Search 808 under instruments, under drums. Drop that in there. Give me this much of a, no, give me a one measure pattern. There we go. Um, the fixed grid is going to be eighth notes for now. There's probably a quicker way to do this than just double clicking every time, but whatever. Drag that out to the however many bars this is currently covering, which is how many. Oh, it is in the right place, okay. So there, let's hear this. Now I want kind of a... Soaring lead over it. So let's arm this MIDI track, pick instruments, instrument rack, or, oh, I, um, Instrument rack, synth lead, pick up a name that sounds good. Huh, <laughs> badass lead, sure, let's try that. Sure, let's try that. Um, why don't I hear, oh, because I haven't put it on the track. This is A minor. It's taking a while to load. 
Yeah, there's a lot to it. Ooh, it's got weird things going on. I like that. Well, I gotta listen through these chords a little bit first. I'm not sure it's starting on A minor, actually. Are you sure you're in A minor? Because that C didn't land very well. Oops. Shorten each of those so they have some, t or at least shorten this one so it has some time to develop the pitch lifting ideas that are going on there. Okay, how is that with the intro to it? for another, I don't even know how long. Another as much again, same with each of these. Or even more again, I guess. And let's listen to the chord. <laughs> Start it from there. Okay, how does that sound all? I'm not in love with this sound though. There we go, that's better. Oh, interesting. Probably because there's an overlap in these two things. Let's close the quantum of this. Let's shift U. I eighth note will be fine. Oops. Let's shift U. Okay. Train. Okay. Train. Okay. Train. Let's 
time for a new section. Uh, do I have any other anything else in the samples that I haven't really played around with yet? What if we um, let's make some things more viewable? What if we drop you in here, but bring it forward a few fractions of a measure so that it has a chance to get going? Yes. And then let's repeat all of that material. So from here to here. Oops. Well, we can still do it like that. Just delete from here to here, pull you back to there, drop this material in here, and you know what? Repetition is nice. Repetition is nice. Except this is supposed to be on top of that somehow. So bring it back. And then all of y'all back one bar, and you back two bars. And this might be a whole track right here. Let's give it a listen. that a track. I'm gonna now pay attention to the mix, although it's it actually seems pretty good, but let's back every let's drop everything to zero. Or minus infinity rather. Drop everything to silent. And then um I'm gonna start with the bass. Brace. I think that's this one. That was the drums, so we'll turn that off for now. Oh, do I not have a do I not have a bass? I don't know, I don't have a bass in this main section. Let's fix that. We just keep the we just keep the fog going, going I guess. That's the one that I want to. That's the one that I want to work with. Let's actually turn off all the tracks, except for the bass, which I'm going to move to the top of the mix. And where is it at its loudest? It's already not that loud, so but let's take you to minus ten as a guess for the intensity that we should have. And 
then what's what's next in the mix that I want to be sure to have? Sure, we'll mix these these two guys next because they're like in the intro. Minus five is my visual guess for this one. Minus seven for this one. Try not here. Louder on this guy. Okay. Um, hi hat, I'll do with you later. Lead, I'll do with you later. Percussion group, let's bring you in at. A minus three, let's hear that. That's too loud for the drums relative to what we got in the LSR. Increase my monitoring level a little bit. Increase increase my monitoring level, but I don't know if this is like, uh, I should have different audio tracks coming out of this, but anyway. See how, see how that goes. Well, what's the what's the major dissonance coming? Is that from this bass? Solo this. about this bass. Let's just leave the bass out for the main section of the, of the video of the audio for now. I'm ready to bring this hi-hat in about here. Maybe. No, quieter. sure I'm ready to sign off on that mix but let's give it a listen just like what it is now some music. Let's ship it. File, export audio, and video, but not video. 
export. I, I should probably give it a title. Cancel, cancel, file, save live set. Um, Somnia driven. Then render, export, insomnia driven. Encoding master, analyzing master. Okay, that's that. I'm going to finish the recording, see if I can turn it into a video worth posting. And thank you, webcam. Thank you, Ableton Live. Thank you, YouTube. Thank you, viewers. Goodbye, and may you be well.